movie dollar will be issued until 2030. The pre-mined quantity will be administered directly by the high-level issuing committee. The committee is composed of the head from UN NGOs and representatives from each country. It has a permanent office quarters set up where even outside of meeting hours, amicable exchanges occur and each country's accomplishment indicators are monitored. Each will have designated goodwill ambassadors and delegation teams, as well as having city-specific ambassadors appointed. This organization becomes the official entity to manage the survival money, and the NGO UN representatives its managers. The NGOs from each city will establish an equivalence coordination committee for each one of the cities. The members will consist of UN representatives from each nation and with expertise in their specific fields, and their responsibilities will cover from general affairs regarding the UN task for the promotion of Mobi dollar issuance. The equivalence adjustment is processed with the world's total amount of transactions and productivity. This in turn resolves exchange issues in international trade. It has the effect of preventing the plummeting of local currencies when a country goes bankrupt. The equivalence adjustment committee will assist to facilitate the payment system in the world, supporting the stable settlement of taxing and welfare systems for the benefit of the local country. The high-level technical financial committee will draft Mobi dollar policies and establish a technical development consortium to improve the system. The technical development consortium with the participation of professional engineers from different nations will ensure that factors such as culture are taken into account for policy implementation. Mobi dollar and Mobi coins as key currencies are payment currencies that are the means to survival money. Therefore, small group of individuals, small group of companies can intervene or participate. The content of building a financial system capable of delivering an equal world, not for countries but for the people, and walk together towards development. Therefore, guaranteeing that every single person from every single country in each nation is to be treated equally and that their human rights are also protected. This can become an issue for government agencies that exist on behalf of national interest. But for NGOs that are pivotal elements of the world citizen community, it's viable. The core of the blockchain-based financial system promoted by the ISEA is to develop Mobi Dollar with the survival money system implemented to become a common currency throughout the entire world. And from there, eradicate the still persisting hunger, poverty from the face of the earth and ultimately free mankind from the enslaving financial system. And those nations that agree to the system first will see the Mobi dollars implemented accordingly, creating a welfare-based society. And the world's citizens will gather to create the smart city model.